Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are continuing our Necromunda project with a shanty town. And this is a cool, awesome, very quick project and it can get out of hand real quickly. As you can see. But benefits of this thing is you don't need fancy tools, you don't need fancy equipment, cardboard, hot glue, paint. Yeah, and that's basically it, actually. So, without further ado, I'm gonna take you to the crafting table and let's build a shanty town for our gangers. Let's do this! Come on! All right, friends, let's get this Necromunda craft on the way. So I'm gonna begin with a simple basic sheet of single corrugated cardboard, something everybody should have around in the house. Now I'm gonna begin by measuring 10 centimeters by eight centimeters squares. And you're gonna need four squares per shack. So proceed to cut the, uh, this one out and use that as a template to make all the other ones. Now you can make as many as you like. I made four for this build. <laughs> That's what I said, it got out of hand real quickly as I simply wanted to make one shack. But yeah, we're more. <laughs> so four pieces per shack. Now I'm gonna add a door and a window. Again, use this on one piece and use it as a template for the other one. So measure two centimeters from the side and then the door itself will be three centimeters long. I'm gonna measure four centimeters in height like this and then proceed by uh, drawing in the door simply using my ruler for this and once you're happy with the result of the door take your uh, your box color or your exacto blade and uh, cut out the door like this I'm gonna add the window as well and I'm gonna start by two centimeters from the bottom that's a good height for a window and I'm gonna make it uh, three centimeters in length and two and a half centimeters in height and then draw connect these lines and once you have your window proceed to cut this one out as well like this and as I said you can uh, use this as a template for all the other uh, parts that you have. I made four shacks, <laughs> as you see it went out of hand. So four shacks and I simply used the, the template of the one to uh, make the other ones. Now simply start by hot gluing everything together, making uh, some boxes. It's really a fast project, it goes really quick and it's cheap. <laughs> there we go. One nice shack. Now for the roofs, I'm going to uh, glue these boxes upside down on a piece of uh, cardstock like this. Simply hot glue these on and then I'm gonna trim away the excess with a scissor or with a knife. I'm going with a knife here. Now if you want to you can leave a little bit of an overhang if you want to create one. I do that on two buildings but uh, yeah trim away the excess and you have a nice rooftop on your uh, on your shack. My four basic structures are done. Now naturally I want to make more than just some simple shacks but you can just keep them modular if you want to but I want to add more so I'm, I take a large sheet of corrugated uh, paper and this is a, a box that I have I have a few of these boxes and I'm simply trimming uh, some of the corrugated paper sheet in one long strip now I'm gonna hot, put hot glue on my box and I'm gonna attach it at the edge and I'm simply gonna fold it around the box with hot glue. As you see there, I have a bit of an overhang but I trim that away with a knife. I rather have a bit of an overhang than a uh, fall short. So, but you can simply trim that away, it's no problem. Now also glue a piece of corrugated paper on the top of the container as you see that I've done here. 
Now I measure my containers on some cardstock and I proceed to cut four two centimeter wide strips per container and then mark out the halfway point of each of those strips. And proceed to cut them out as well. Like so. Now score the center line and fold it in half. This will be the cladding for the sides of the container. Score it, don't cut through it, just score them. And you can fold them in half very easily, like this. Now do the same for the sides of the container by making smaller two centimeter strips. Measure it against the side and you will need eight of the smaller strips per container. And now we're gonna hot glue these pieces on. Like this. These boxes of chocolate sprinkles are perfect for shipping containers. <laughs> and here you see the small strips, and I've done the same, it's basically the same as with the longer ones, just clad them to the sides. Like this. But you will need eight of these per container. And just like that, we have a shipping container. Very quick and very easy very cheap and if you have kids like me who eat a lot of chocolate sprinkles then yeah you will have a lot of containers now cut two separate pieces of cardstock to form one door and the door I have is five centimeters in height and two and a half centimeters in width and just glue them on as you see me do here and do that of course for the other uh, shipping containers as well Now start stacking the f to uh, make a cool looking shape. I also have used uh, some kitchen uh, towel roll to make some pipes. Now don't make the mistake I just made. Glue on your rooftops before gluing the containers on top of the shacks. I had to remove them to glue on the roof. So stop right here, glue on your roofs first guys. Okay, so now once I'm happy with the result, I hot glue everything together. Glue your roofs first. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. Glue your roofs first. Now cut out mini cardstock and corrugated paper sheets to clad the shacks, as you've seen me done in other uh, crafting videos as well. Now with my hole punch, I start to create rivets on the cardstock panels. Like so. A very quick and easy rivet method. Ta -da! Now I also want some banding on the pipes, so I'm taking a piece of toilet roll and I'm cutting uh, one centimeters out of it. And I snip that in half and I'm also punching it with my hole punch to create some rivets on the banding. If it's uh, too big, then just snip away a piece so it fits around your pipe. Like this. And I'm simply using white glue for this as it is cardboard on cardboard, so yeah. Now here I start by cladding the shacks with the corrugated paper and the panels. Simply overlap everything, just make a design that looks cool to you. Here I'm using large sheets and uh, smaller sheets. Just have fun with this. Go nuts! <laughs> As you see I'm not really measuring, just overlapping everything like it is slapped together. Go around every shack. You could even go around the containers as well if you want to. But I'm sticking to the shacks. I also glued three rectangles on each of the container doors, as you see on uh, your left hand side. And here you can see the result of everything that is glued together. Quick and easy fun project. Now the one thing I did not do on this on this project is add ladders, but I will go back and uh, glue some ladders on it as well later on. You won't see that in this video, but it's very easy to do. Now I'm going to cut some doors inside of the shipping containers. Just uh, eyeball the size and simply cut that out. It is cardboard. Now I'm attaching a plastic drinking straw to create some more pipes. This is optional, of course, and I'm also gonna attach a, a milk cap bottle to the end of my pipe and glue a wooden spool on top of that as well 
some sort of ventilation. Just grab whatever you have in your bids box and uh, go nuts. Have fun. This is the wooden spool I'm attaching on top of it. Now, I still had this staircase I made earlier. Check out episode 5, stairs, on how to make this. So I figured I might as well use this part and attach it to the side of one of my shacks, as you see me do here. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how to make these stairs, check out episode 5. Now I keep adding some details like spray bottle caps, wooden blocks, etc. All kinds of things. And for the doors, I'm simply using some corrugated paper and gluing that on the inside of the shack. But you can use whatever you want for doors or leave it open. The choice is yours. Now with these barbecue skewers, I'm creating some metal bars on the container doors. I'm measuring them against the door and I'm with some clippers, I'm snipping them to size, as you see here. And I'm simply attaching these with some white glue. They dry very quickly, so wood on cardboard. And just as I said that, the, the stick fell off. <laughs> Here you can see some other stuff that I glued on f just for simple details. Don't have to go overboard, but you can do whatever you guys prefer. Go nuts, have fun with the project. All right, looking cool. Now time to prime it all black. I simply sprayed it all. Now for painting, my go-to Necromunda, overbrush everything with a brown. Go nuts, paint it all brown. The black will shine through, but that doesn't matter. It adds to the flavor of the setting. <laughs> Do both pieces or just a simple one shack that you made, doesn't matter. Now once you're done, I start by stippling on silver and dry brushing it everywhere. But I do make sure that I saturate uh, the metal panels with the rivets on it uh, a little bit more, as you see here. I want them to be pure metal. Now I'm gonna paint the containers and the corrugated panels however I see fit and I'm using my go-to, my blue, because I like the blue with the brown, but guys use whatever colors you want there's no right or wrong way to do this i simply like this blue and i've used it in all my other builds as well so i'm sticking to it with the same color scheme but if you want it white paint it white if you want it red go red if you want it green purple whatever you guys prefer have fun with the build that's the most important thing whatever makes it look cool to you that's the best way to do it now also the pipes, uh, the drinking straw, I painted it uh, in black later on. One container I did with an off-white color. Now I'm gonna do some red and greens on the roof. Just, yeah, some purple, some yellow, as you see here, some purple, some red, a light blue, some green. Have fun. Some yellow here as well. The side of the stairs is blue, a purple door, <laughs> a pink, pink paneling on the on this roof yeah looking cool now for rust again I stipple on brown paint everywhere and then over that brown I'm going over that with a bright orange as I do in all my Necromunda builds creating some streaks among the piping as well laying it on, laying it on thick here Going very, very fast, but yeah, you've seen me done this, do this before, so... Now I also painted some random letters and numbers on the containers, so let us now look at the finished piece. And also place some miniatures on that. Ta-da! Here we go! I've placed it on the tiles. Some Escher gangers are standing here, and as you can see, it matches well with the tiles also matches well with the rest of the terrain that we've built so far on this channel so if you haven't seen that and this is your first video be sure to check out my necromunda series the necromunda project <laughs> all right thanks in advance <laughs> so yeah here you can see the gangers all standing there but as i said i'm planning to add ladders on this build as well i haven't done that yet but uh, i will get around to it so yeah looking very cool and it was a fun and quick project to make 
So I would like to thank you all very much for watching and there's a lot more to come. The majority of you uh, voted for a Necromunda build, so here we are. So I made another one. I will also be doing some modern terrain and some fantasy terrain as well. And I'm gonna start my uh, new uh, battle reports and Age of Fantasy series as well. So stay tuned for that as well. And thank you all for watching guys. I really